you're working on your business really, really hard and you would like to grow, you would like to scale, but maybe something is holding you back. In this episode, we're going to talk about common scaling and growth mistakes that a lot of coaches and consultants in service-based entrepreneurs are making in their businesses right now. I'm going to share with you quick strategies that you can think about and implement in your business right now based on the season of the business you are in. Uh, the first thing that is important to do as an entrepreneur is to actually do 90 days assessment. And it really will help you to determine the season of the business you are in because not every year, not every season, not every quarter is the quarter in the season of growth or scaling. Sometimes it is a maintenance year, sometimes it is a growth period, or sometimes it is like scaling period, right? And it's important to recognize that season of the business you are in right now so you can make the right move. We often think about how do we fill our top of funnel? How do we bring more clients in our business? So I submit to you to think about what problem you're solving for your clients. And when you're solving that problem, because excellent coaching program, excellent coaching business will solve one problem and it will create another in a good way, because your clients are growing, because your clients are going to the next level. So what is the next level that you are taking your clients to and how you can create for them another solution so they can get right there and then because you already established no like and trust factor, they already know your services. And if you deliver really good uh, results, so your clients actually would like to stay with you. So on Wednesday, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to talk about how to create your retention offer. So join me tomorrow at 10 a.m. So the link for the live stream is in the description for this video. You can also see the info cards for this video. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also click notify me so you can come to my live stream. And please bring your questions when it comes to the retention offer. But if you are thinking about scaling, if you're thinking about growing, I challenge you, like, except for like, yes, new leads, new clients are, it is essential. It is important. You have to have your top of final strategy, but also what do you do with the people who used to work with you? How do you work with your past clients and what offer you can offer your clients who are already working with you or your previous clients. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, what is your sales strategy? What is your sales strategy? I, I think when it comes to uh, the businesses, um, it is essential to understand your sales process and sales cycle. And your sales cycle and your sales strategy, it starts with your content it starts with your with you understanding your customer and is is listen i can't emphasize it enough you have to understand your ideal customer profile you have to understand the people that you serve and it's going to be essential in your offer and based on that you can implement easy content seasons and Listen, on Friday, we're going to talk about the sales strategy and how to really implement the sales strategy that works in 2024. Because listen, coaching industry right now, it is a mature industry. It is absolutely mature industry. We, and we are dealing with more sophisticated clients. Other clients probably going to come to your coaching containers after working with other coaches. Do you understand? Do you do enough market research understanding your competitors? Do you understand uh, why people are leaving other coaches when they're looking after working with uh, coaches in a similar niche in a, uh, that solve similar problem that you're solving? What they're not doing that your program is doing? Or maybe there's something that you can implement in your, class, in your business right now that can actually be beneficial for your clients. And this is your sales strategy. And your sales strategy always starts with your content.
we, we often think about sales strategies. How do we close clients on the call? How we um, uh, close more clients? How do we schedule more appointments? But it starts with your content. It starts with your consistent uh, c- consistency and constantly showing up on social media. So we're going to talk about that on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And again, the description for that live stream is in, uh, in uh, the description and the link for that video for that live stream is a description box for this video. And also you can find the info card. Please join me either on LinkedIn or on here on uh, YouTube. But understanding the sales strategy is really, really important. Starts with your content and should be really, really simple, uh, really, really simple and not complicated strategy that encompasses the customer journey for your coaching clients. And when you implement that strategy right, you have better type of funnel strategy. And also like we talk, we just talk about the retention offer. So you have the type of funnel strategy, you have the sales strategy, you have the retention offer. And these are two major systems and major strategies that you can implement right now in your business to be ready for your growth and for, uh, and to scale in your business. And also, uh, I would like to think about where do you complicate your business? Because listen, in 2024, complexity kills and simplicity skills. If you want to scale your business, not just grow because there's a season of growth. And listen, if you are under 250K in your business, you are in the growth season. You are not ready to scale. And when you are in your growth season, your focus should be sales. And I understand we often think about like, how do I grow my email list? And email, growing your email list is essential. You should thinking you should be thinking how you grow your email list without a doubt. But a, a simplified funnel, simplified strategies, it's, it's important to have a funnel. You have to have a funnel. You have to have that sphere of influence that you bring people in, but it has to be simple. And again, on Saturday uh, during my live stream, I'm going to share with you really simple strategies that you can implement right now in your business because yes, you can grow your email list. But what I want you to understand that your direct sales and your email list they're not necessarily always equal. Yes, you will leverage your email list later on. And as you're growing, your email list is your legacy. And people see better conversion, uh, conversions from email lists. And this is essential. But it doesn't mean that you only should focus on growing your email list or implementing complicated funnels to bring more customers. You can make sales and you can make it, and you can grow your email list. You can have both. So this is what we're going to talk about on Saturday and during my live stream. Again, I'm going live uh, live on uh, YouTube. I'm going live on LinkedIn. And uh, if you are following me on Instagram, I'm also going to go live on Instagram. So this is, this is the Saturday. So I want you to think about this. Um, first of all, where are you at in your business? Are you growing or you're scaling? And again, if you're under 250K, you are growing and your focus is to actually make more sales, bring more clients, implement really simple strategy. If you have clients, and I believe you do, how do you serve that those clients? Like how do you how do you implement uh, the next solution for them? It can be a retainer offer. It can be an essential offer. We're going to talk about it like on Wednesday. And also, uh, how do you simplify your business? Because it is possible to build a simple business that allows you to live your life by design. That allows you to enjoy your time with your family, with your kids, serve your clients, and. Uh, live the life that you really like. I don't know about you, but I started my business because I wanted to create impact in the way that allows me to live this life by design. And it's absolutely possible.
So uh, share with me in the comments what resonates with you. And um, more importantly, join me on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday for my live streams. It's going to be amazing. We're going to talk about growth and scale and how bring your business to the next level. Because if you are growing your business to the seven figure business, and it's important to have simple strategies, understand the season of the business you are in, and have really strong retention and ascension offers in your business. And that's what we're going to cover in those live streams. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you tomorrow on my live stream.